Welcome back art fans and yet to another Flowworks video. Today we're going to be doing another 28 by 28 inch canvas. It's going to be a black canvas. Today we're going to be going in with some fluorescent colours across that black, creating some mashup of colour. It's going to be an acrylic pour, but I'm not going to stop there with the acrylic pour. It's going to be two stages this painting. The second stage, I'm going to take it into some abstract. You notice as well the logo down in the bottom as the video goes on, the logo drains away with paint. Nice little touch. So the colours I'm going to be using today, I've got some copper going on, but I mixed up the copper with some of this Liquitex pouring medium. Oh, scared the life out of me. And when I was mixing it up, the copper began to go a little bit light, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Mm, yeah. So I'm hoping that's going to be quite autumn -y. And then, wow, check out that. That is some retro pink. That's like, mm, mm, mm. That's like, also got my favorite color yet. I always have to add my favorite color in. And last but not least, a proper vibrant orange as well. So I'm hoping this piece is going to be really bright and colourful. Also going to chuck in some white, go in with the black, mix it all together, blow it all out. We're going to be left hopefully with a nice river of colour. I want some negative space top and bottom to this piece. And then as I say, once it dries, we're going to have stage two of this painting where we are going to be going in with some abstract art at the end of this. So yeah, stick around. Right, let's move all these to the side. So they're out of the way. Okay, so quick lesson in acrylic pouring. First of all, go on with your base colour. The surface for your paint to flow over the top of. If you're new to this channel and you're loving my art, please subscribe. Right, here goes. We're going to start with the blue. So we're going to get the old, old hair dry, we're going to blast the black over the colour and then we're going to start feathering it out. Here we go. Okay, so we're just going to go back in with some more colour. Black's taken over quite a bit on this one. The pink is in there. This is a bit muddy. Let's try and get some more of that pink in. This is what this piece is all about.
stay tuned for the second part of this video where we will transform this yet one more time into something more abstract. Here we are for the second stage of this painting. This has dried now for a couple of days and we are left with this piece. So what I've done, I've masked off some certain areas on this canvas with some nice straight lines. I'm thinking once the paint's over that, that's gonna give off some nice detail as though you're looking through and then seeing the color behind it. So that's the theory, let's get painting.
does help to make the sound effects as you do it. So, smashing that in there. Okay, I'm just looking down on this now and assessing what else I need to do. Okay, this is a one of them pipettes that you use in the lab. We're gonna squeeze some paint into the bottom of one of these. And we're just gonna try and fire this out, so. Voila. That is the finished piece. Is it finished? Keep looking at it thinking, do I want to add any more? I don't want to go too crazy. I think that is where I'm going to end this one. I love the colour explosion. It's as though this modern effect is laid over the top of this um, old style painting. That is the type of painting that I would have on my wall. Uh, it looks proper out there, proper modern. You could stare at this for ages and your mind just takes you everywhere with it. I think, uh, I think it's great. I hope you like this one too. Comment down below, did you, did you like the look of this? What do you like about it? Do you, what colours do you like? Do you not like the black? Give this video a thumbs up if you think it was good. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. That way I know sort of what you guys want to watch in terms of when I'm creating these pieces. Until next time, this has been Flowworks Production. Take care and I'll catch you in the next one.